Hey guys, we're here at Scoped Out. I'm with Mark from Infrared, and we are looking at the new MAH50R. It's the upgrade to the original, which was phenomenal yeah, already. It was, yeah, yeah. What, what's different about this one? So the new one boasts a built-in LRF module. Right, um, that's that little beast there. Yeah, a little built-in on the LRF. Mm -hmm. um, it's also running their new um, sub-18 millikelvin 640 by 512 sensor. Yeah, right. Um, okay. Running at 50 hertz. Mm -hmm. um, it's also got the ability to have the ballistic calculator built into this as well. So, yeah, right. Um, moving forward in that new in that new system where everyone's got the ballistics going on. Everything in there. And so these as a clip-on, um, the MA50 was, was really popular because you were able to run a uh, higher magnification scope. So if your scope can go down to sort of two or three power, it yeah. still worked pretty comfortably. Yep. Same deal with this one? Yeah, so the original MAH50 was uh, kind of our flagship um, clip-on mm. bit because you could, you know, you had the ability to run off such a high base mag. Um, so the base magnification setting um, normally found on, on clip-ons is up to, you know, from three to four and, you, you know, kind of tap out at around six. So the MAH50, uh, the first gen, was the first to, uh, uh, on the market to be able to be used on a, scope with a base magnification of 10. Mm. So that gives you, a, a, for longer range shooters, it, it gives you the ability to wind out to, you know, 15 to 16 to and beyond, basically, with the, um, with yep. the rear. So and, it, and gives you the, the ability that, like, almost any scope is going to work with. Whereas and, and, a lot of times you get, you yeah. want to look at something, but you let's say it's a 6 to 24, and you're right on that sort of top end. Yeah, correct. So, you know, you can change the profile on there to change the menu all the way down to mm. having a base mag of even up to 10. So... It's really you good. You can always see your menus. One of the cool things on this was to have the, the remote that drives it. You can bring that back and put it somewhere else on the rifle or something like that. But you showed me a little thing that you're holding there to replace that. So, so you put that wherever you're putting it. Yeah. So on the new MAH50, you've got the removable keypad, right? So mm. for your shooting thing. But say you've got the, the internal battery is a... Um, is it will give you four hours of play time. Mm -hmm. Once it starts to go dead and you're in the field, um, they come with two replaceable, replaceable battery packs. Yep. So all you do is simply take your remote off, which is still wireless, drop your battery pack on, power it back up, and then it'll, get, it'll run off that battery pack for an additional four hours. So it um, gives you the versatility to really hunt out in the remote areas without yeah, right. having to take all these batteries and chargers with you. Just power up all the batteries and just yeah. take them in the bush with you. It's good size. It's good size. These yeah. look really exciting. Yeah. So, 